today we're going to unbox and review the Blue Jet figure from Machine Robo Revenge of Kronos produced by Action Toys. But before we continue, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video, comment, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you will be updated when new content comes out. Older collectors will recognize this guy as Fighter, one of the lieutenants of Cycle, the leader of the Renegades from Challenge of the Gobots. But in Machine Robo Revenge of Kronos, he's actually one of the good guys. Let's take a look at the box. So this is the front. You see a nice picture of Blue Jet. This is the top. Side. The back shows his jet mode. And this is the other side. This is the bottom fine print. Let's take it out of the box. So the item comes with two manuals. You'll also get this stand and stage which you can assemble in different ways. And you also get this, his two weapons, his cockpit, the mecha, and stage connectors. Here he is. Let's take a closer look. So this is his front. I like his face. He has some nice detailing on the body. And the legs, the feet, this is the side, then this is the back, you also get some nice details and lines on the back of the figure. Let's look at the articulation, so the head moves, okay, there's also some slight up and down movement for the head. Here's a nice joint. For the shoulders, it means that you can have more dynamic poses involving the arms. You can rotate the arm, move the elbow, rotate the wrist. Okay. When it comes to the waist, you can also turn him around. Okay. Legs, so you can make him do the split, forward, backwards, knee, so you can bend the knee and then the foot, okay, so nice articulation on the robot form. Now here is the cockpit. Now you can split it up and you can turn it into the sheath of his two weapons, his two swords. So here's one sword. There. Here's the other one. And you can attach it to the mecha. This is where you attach this so you see this hole there's a slot here and there's this tab so you simply put it together like so see that and same as the other side see this put it in the hole There you have it. Now let us transform the guy. So what you need to do is to take the side skirt and you rotate them. And then guys, you'll see a slot here for the tab. So simply put it there. See that? And also with the other side. There. Okay? Now next, you take the back skirt then you pull it up like so okay next the feet so this is what you're going to do you're going to position his foot 
upwards like so. See that? Also with the other side. There. And then you open the front panel of the legs like so and then you have to attach the legs together so there's a tab and a slot inside the legs so you attach them after which you're going to push the legs into the thigh So, you push them far enough so that the thrusters here will come out. Now, once you've done that and push the thigh into the legs, you unfold the wings. Careful with the wings. See that? Also with the other side. Unfold the wings. Be careful. So there. And now, the panel, you fold it into the wing. So, see that? The other side. There. Okay. Next is, you have to rotate the shoulders inwards. So, you see this tab? In the chest and the hole here so you put the tab into the slot like so and also with the other side so this is how it will look like more or less and now you'll have to attach the cockpit onto the head. So there you have it. Now you can also attach the sword in his jet mode. So there's this part here in the arm. See that part? So you simply slide the sword. Okay. See that? So there it is. Same as the other side. There you have it. So there it is. Attached to the jet. Now here is where you attach the stand connector. See? So how is the figure? Well, design-wise, I really like this mecha. I like the color scheme. The red, the white, the silver, the gray working together perfectly. I also like the transformation. It's simple enough. And I also like the articulation. You can pose this mecha in a lot of dynamic ways. Is there anything bad about the figure? Well, attaching the cockpit when you're transforming from robot to jet mode is going to be a little tricky. Other than that, I have no major complaints about this figure. Should you get it? Yes, it's a nice looking toy. And of course, for people my age, this is going to bring back good memories. So that's the blue jet from the Machine Robo Revenge of Chrono series produced by Action Toys. This has been Kulas for Tambe Reviews. Thank you for watching. Keep on playing.